save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucius Sword here. Welcome back to Hyrule. We're going to have another fantastic episode today. If this is your first episode of my Breath of the Wild playthrough, welcome. We're not quite done with the game. We're probably about halfway to be honest. So anyways, check out this vantage point I found. Last video we killed the Lionel, got this amazing weapon. And uh, we're not too far from there and I see the, the labyrinth up there we need to do. You can also see the Divine Beast, Vamido, way over there. That's a Rito village. But check out this pathway, guys. This road that has these big statues on either side of it. This road leads to where we are going. And it is kind of a scary place. Shrouded in darkness. I would ride my horse up there, but... As you can see, my horse is useless, so... Just gonna walk right on up with my boy... Wolf Link. Hi. <laughs> oh man, I want the prime meat! I had to use a lot of meat on that last Lionel fight, you know what I mean? Alright, these statues are kinda creepy, but... Just wait till you see where we're going! In fact, I wish I had a torch. Maybe they'll give us a torch if we're lucky. Yeah, it's a lovely place I found here, guys. Nice, quiet spot in the woods. <laughs> yeah, the water's actually tar, so don't go swimming. What? Lost Woods 2.0? This one's about to break. Alright, so I have no idea where we're going to be going. But I know there's a shrine in here somewhere. Okay, we can light the bird statues, so that's good. My guess is we just have to follow the statues. That's all we gotta do. Ooh, there's a chest right there. Link, why would you put out the torch to pick up the chest? Come on. Alright. Let's go this way. I do like the way that these torches look like little birds. That is kind of cool. I wonder what this place looks like if it was actually well lit. Because it seems kind of cool. Okay, wolf. I'm not going to fight the wolves. A lot of torches here. Let's grab the, the chest. So it looks like we actually have to jump over there, which is pretty cool. Oh, never mind. Oh, let me get the chest. Wow, look at all those fireflies and glowy mushrooms. Ooh, nice! A star fragment! That's actually super rare. Wolf, are you doing... Wolf Link, are you alright? Where is he? Oh yeah, he's doing fine. In fact... Yeah, you can see a little bit better sometimes when you pull out those powers. Alright. So, we need to go this way. So many fireflies. This is actually easier than the Lost Woods. Just because it's easy to follow these bird statues. Lost Woods, you had to follow the wind, and that was, like, way harder. Alright. Because you, you, it's way less obvious. Plus, there's all that shroudy mist stuff that's trying to eat you all the time. 
I'm not gonna get distracted for anything. We're gonna stay true to our course until we find the shrine. Oh man, that's cool. Sorry if you can't really see this. If you're playing on like a mobile phone or something, it might be hard to see. Whoa, is that a blood moon rising? I hear what sounds like a Hinox. Fighting a Hinox in the dark might be a little bit terrifying, guys. Look at that blood moon. That is amazing. But let me grab that luminous stone real quick. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I got so scared I went the wrong way. The blood moon is finally happening. The blood moon rises once again. Yes, princess. We know I'm a little preoccupied right now. I don't really care about the blood moon. I want that luminous stone, you know what I mean? Alright, let's go in. Okay, so we got this. Wolf Link, no, 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 you come back. You come back. I want you to stay. You're a great guard dog, but I want you to guard the entrance, okay? Don't let anybody come in here. I have to fight the Hinox by myself now. Stealth. And let's walk around the area a little bit. Scout out the area, light it up so that way we can see what's going on around here. I think we're just kind of locked in one big room, so that's that's perfect. No, Wolf Link, you idiot! Oh gosh, Wolf Link is gonna attack the Hinox. Maybe Wolf Link just died. Okay, he died waking up the Hinox. Oh gosh. Wolf Link is dead. Hinox is awake. Hinox doesn't see me. Enox went back to sleep. <laughs> Dang, that's a nice sword. A royal bow, eh? Um... Thank you. I guess you don't even need to fight him. No need to kill sleeping Hinox, right? Maybe if I kill him, the darkness will lift though. So I kind of want to kill him. I can't even see the shrine, so yeah, I'm guessing... I'm guessing they expect you to kill the Hinox first. Okay, the Hino the shrine is literally behind the Hinox. Alright, you know what? I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna fight the Hinox in the night. 
Um, before we begin this, let's uh, equip. I guess this arbor isn't that bad. Is it nighttime? Yeah, it is. Let's just get it this over with, big boy. Really hard to see. Where's his eyeball? Don't need shock arrows. Okay, maybe the darkness doesn't lift. Oh well, we tried. We tried. All right, let's get the shrine then. The Keto Wawai Shrine. <laughs> That's a funny name for a shrine. All right, do you think it's a blessing or an actual challenge? Please not a blessing. Please not a blessing. I want to get an actual challenge. The blessings are so boring. Oh god, it's a blessing. I mean, it was a bit of a challenge to get here, but still, a shrine should be a challenge. I feel like every shrine should be its own challenge. Ancient core, okay. It's a good thing, but... <sighs> I would have liked... A challenging shrine as a reward. Walking around in the dark isn't even hard. Oh, we got two spirit orbs, full health. I wonder if that lifted the darkness? Talking to the monk in the shrine, maybe? Oh, man. So, after we're done here... I kind of want to go back to the stables real quick to get Cookie. Because I feel like Epona is useless without the ancient armor. Okay, no, it's still pitch dark. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bounce right on out of here. Let's go to Well, either way, let's just go uh, to this stables, I guess. I don't really like this stable because it's cold, but it is closer to that area. We can make our way to the labyrinth. We'll see how much time we have when we start it. If we get there. I think there's at least one or two Lionels on the way. So <laughs> depending on how those fights go. I mean considering the last fight I almost died. Um, actually I probably did die multiple times. And I ended up using a lot of my food. So we need to actually. That's one thing we could do is go to the Great Fairy Fountain. I do need to check that out. See if we can upgrade any of our armors. <laughs> Hey, doggo. Uh, let's let's get Cookie out. Hi. Cookie, I need you. I know you're warm and toasty, but you need to come out here in the cold. Huh? Yeah. Hey, Cookie. Good boy. All right, Cookie. I know you're probably not even hungry because you've been eating so good at the stables, but here's some some apples just to warm you up, okay? Hey, Beetle. What's up, dude? What you got for sale? Good. You got arrows. I'll take them all. Money is not an issue for me anymore. Alright, where's the cooking pot around these parts? Don't tell me this is uh, stables without a cooking pot. 
Ooh, a double axe. Nice. I don't just want a fire, I want a cooking pot. Where is your guys' cooking? Okay, there it is. Time for cooking with Lucian. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I need to make more hardy stuff. I got plenty of stamina. Recovery. Basically, just more regular meat and more hardy stuff. So that shouldn't take too long. Let's make a hearty salmon. I think this one does like plus eight just by itself. Oh, plus four. That's fine. That is totally fine. We're going to cook some bird legs. And some meat. See, a good chef isn't just one that can cook. It's one that can cook multiple things at once. You know what I'm saying? Let's do another hearty salmon in there. And, uh, you know what? We got a big hearty truffle and one of these regular truffles. Let's see what that gives us. Plus five, all right, not bad. And, hmm. The prime meat heals for more, so I'm gonna throw those down. Throw some more down on there. If you put too many items on the ground, they start disappearing, so you kinda gotta be careful about that. See, the the seared prime meat, that heals two and a half, two and a quarter. Which is pretty much the most, unless you get the whole bird. The whole bird heals for like five when you cook it. The only place I found the whole birds though were in uh, the Goron Mountains like area. Oops, I did not mean to do that. See what I mean? You cook all the meat and it just makes one big one. Um, let's cook some more big hearty radishes. That's all you really need is the hearty food because it just does so much. The, it fu the, fully heals you and it gives you bonus hearts. Like, what else could you possibly want? I mean, you could throw in some defense and stuff, I guess, but. Three hearty radishes. Let's go. Plus ten. And, um. Some of these. Alright. I think we're pretty good now, guys. I think we're pretty good. Now if I fight the uh, Lionel, I will feel a little bit a little bit safer. Uh, we could cook a little bit more raw meat, just because we have so much. Burn, baby. Probably a better thing that Wolf Link died, to be honest, because... He usually distracts us when- Cookie, where are you going? Get back over here. Oh my gosh. I know you can come. Alright, let's go. We're going off, guys. We are going north into the unknown. We have never gone this way. Likely, we're probably going to die from uh, Lionel or something else, so... We'll see what we can find. I see some monster camps up there. That's always good. Would be nice if your Bosa's Fury would recharge, because then we could use that. Wow, I kind of want to go up those epic mountains. We've never gone up. Check that out. Actually, we did go kind of up the... But for the most part, these mountain rangers are completely unexplored. Oh, look at that. A random Korok right here. Weird. Never would have thought there'd be a random Korok in the middle of nowhere like this. Actually, that's something else we need to do, is go to the Korok Forest. Okay, we're gonna go get that shrine. Yeah. Wow, wild horses up here? That's crazy. I like that brown one. Yeah. Oh. Alright, there's definitely a shrine up here, so we're gonna go for that. Might be a Lionel along the way. I'm ah. guessing there is. This is such a big open area. I would be shocked if there's not. Okay, that's not a Lionel, but... 
still an enemy. Hitting me, stop shooting me, dude. I'm gonna die just from their archery. This is crazy. I'm not even getting to the Lionel yet. I'm just gonna eat some of this useless food, I guess. Yeah, they really hit me pretty good with those arrows. Alright, I'm gonna have to use a better weapon, dude. You're, you're not dying fast enough. You just wasted Daruk's protection. Why am I even wasting my sword? I'm gonna use a master sword. Where are you going? He's like walking away from me. He doesn't even want to fight me. No, you fought. Me. You you attacked me. Okay, you you started this. Really, bro? Yeah, Cookie, that's how you do it. Why don't you just hit me one more time so Daruk's protection will uh, recharge, huh? No? Okay. Good job, Cookie. You did good. Now let's check out in here. Anything? Ice King! Ice Key Swings, which can be useful for upgrades. That's about it. Next Monster Camp. Not sure if I really want to fight a Monster Camp if I have to fight a Lino. Okay, nothing in here? Chest. Opal. Whoa! I have never seen that shield before in the game. A kite shield. Rito warriors cherish this shield. Its unique shape is designed with mid-battle flight in mind to facilitate aerial combat. What? That shield looks so cool. Oh man. Well, I'm happy we found this. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see how the mid-flight aerial combat part works. Alright, let's go get that shrine. Maybe there's not a Lionel around here. I could have sworn there was. I'm not seeing it. I almost guarantee there's a Lionel in this giant... ...expanse. I'm just waiting for it to pop into view. Okay, there's one, and he looks like a golden. Hold up. Oh. Okay. It's a golden lino. No big deal. Well, before we go fight our first golden lino, let's do the shrine. Another... Hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold. Okay, there's two golden lionels. I know what we're doing. Probably next episode. 
two golden Lionels? Are you kidding me? First things first. Let's get the shrine. Sha Gamma Shrine. I think I saw another shrine too, like, when we were looking around, so... If this is just a blessing or something stupid like that, maybe we'll have enough time to grab the other shrine. I don't want to start a fight with the Golden Lionel yet, because that fight could last like 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see. Oh, it's not a blessing. Hallelujah. Shift and lock. Ooh. Ooh. This one looks fun. Alright. So what? Do I gotta bring this bad boy all the way to the top? Oh, I see. Okay, so I gotta drop it right on the platforms, or... Alright. Oh, okay, so you have to do that to get the small key. I want to see what this aerial combat shield is really capable of. Holy cow, that bounced with some authority. Wow, that's a really good broadsword. Holy cow, hold up. That's like the best one I have. Uh, yeah, the double axe kind of sucks. How come I can never find a double axe with, like, attack up modifier? Like, they really never give me that. It's a shame because I do like the double axe. I just like how it looks. And it should do a lot more damage. Or at least you should be able to find the occasional double axe. Watch how this bounces. I just want to show you guys. Boing. 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 Okay. I think that was basically it, guys. Literally not really much of a shrine. I'm disappointed. I'll give the shrine a 5 out of 10. Maybe even like a 3 out of 10, to be honest. It had one puzzle that was like the easiest puzzle in, like... That's about it. Better than a blessing, but still. Barely. You see how he stacked up his rings like that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, let's see real quick if I can find that other shrine just so we can mark it at least. We still got a couple minutes, maybe. If it's another shrine as easy as this, we might go grab it really quick. But, dang, two golden linos. We have not seen a golden lino yet. We just found two right next to each other, which means I could bring, I could fight them both at the same time, theoretically speaking. You know what I mean? That would be, that would be quite the video. Fighting two golden linos at once. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Let me see if I can fight one first. If I could beat the one. We might come back here and fight too. I think they did. They put them close to each other on purpose. So that, you know, you could fight two at once if you wanted. Alright, there's, there's the line. I think there was a shrine, like... I thought I could see one for a second. Maybe it was down over here. Ah, yeah, there it is. And another... <gasps> I already marked this one. There's three gold Lionels. Holy cow. Really, bro? Three gold Lionels over here, guys. It is marked. Actually, it was already marked. <sighs> Alright, guys. This is where we're going to end the episode. I'm going to have to fight at least one golden Lionel just to get to the labyrinth. Wish me luck. It's going to be at the start of next episode, I'm guessing, because... <laughs> 
Dang. Let's go up here real quick. Nice. No, 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 no. Get. Just one. Just one golden lino, guys. That's all that... Oh, dang it. I just chucked the rock that I needed for the Korok puzzle. <laughs> Oops. Thank you guys for watching. I am so excited for next episode. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy. Urbosa's Fury is ready.